subscribe to RA Solutions by clicking on the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this one, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to add your own narrations to PowerPoint presentations. So if you want pupils to um, go through a PowerPoint presentation to help with their understanding, they can listen to your narrations at the same time. It might bore them to death, but I don't know, but I'm just going to show you how to narrate a PowerPoint presentation. So what we've got in front of us is a PowerPoint presentation about creating success impact performance 2019 by all means this powerpoint presentation i've opened in office 365 so in the powerpoint um, version 365 okay so first and foremost on the top side here in the ribbon go across in the options to the slideshow option here now under the setup option here what you need to do is click on record slideshow so i'm going to record from the beginning so click on that and it will take you to the narration screen. Now, this is where you record your voice and um, highlight specific keywords you want to stress on. And if you've also got some notes which you've added before, you can read through your notes here as well. Um, but obviously, for this presentation, I haven't got any notes. So I'm not going to read anything from the notes. All I'm going to do is show you how to record your narration, your voice for each slide so let me begin so i'm going to talk now as if i was doing a narration so click on record and i'll start in three creating success impact performance 2019 success is what we all want moving on so in terms of students there are always going to be those pupils who are going to be boundary leapers those on the cusp of three or grade four those on the cusp of grade four and grade five okay that's important not only for the students it's important for parents and it's also important for the schools as well what do we need to do to move these pupils on from grade three to four and from the four to the five moving on let me stop there so what i've just done there i've just done a quick narration on about three to four slides using um highlighters going through explaining what each slide means now if I had any notes I would be reading or going back to my notes at the same time as well now what it's done it's added a little audio file here because it, it knows that it needs to play that audio file back to, to whoever's viewing that PowerPoint presentation and to go back and save all these changes what you need to do is click on the escape on, um, button on your keyboard let me do that again there you go it's gone back to the main screen now what it's done if you look at slide one it's put a little line underneath the word success because that's the word I highlighted when I was narrating it's put a little speaker um, audio file here because it knows to say something once you play that slide in slideshow mode same in slide two with these arrows I've drawn it's left those in and select, same as slide three with the bit of annotation I've done there. So if, let me go back to slide one and let me play that in slideshow mo mode and I'll stay quiet because the narration is going to um, do this. Creating quickly. success, impact performance 2019. Success is what we all want. Moving on. So in terms of students, there are always going to be those pupils who are going to be boundary leapers, those on the cusp of three or grade four those on the cusp of grade four and grade five okay that's important not only for the students it's important for parents and it's also important for the schools as well what do we need to do to move these pupils on from grade three to four and from the four to the five moving on effort is directly linked to the achievement students make you don't make any effort more than likely not going to achieve or get Okay, the you get grade. the point now. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to click on escape now. All that information is saved now in that PowerPoint presentation. And it's a simple case of saving that PowerPoint presentation, sending it on. And what your pupils need to do is go to slideshow mode um, to listen to the narration whilst they're playing that PowerPoint presentation back. That's all it is. It's dead easy. It's dead simple. You can also rehearse the timings here. Click on this option to rehearse the timings. Um, I'm going to click on escape. I'm going to go through that. Um, 
you can also set up your slideshow here to say you can loop your PowerPoint presentation until somebody presses escape and there's lots of different options there um, the laser pointer color that's irrelevant here because um, you can change the pen color here as well actually that is relevant and you can set up in this checkbox you can say actually I don't want it to play the narrations or yes I do want it to play the narrations which we want which we want our pupils to listen to whilst they're going through that PowerPoint presentation so again just to recap to to add these narr narrations under the ribbon at the top under the options you go to slideshow record slideshow and choose which slide you want your narration to begin from more than likely you want it to record from the beginning click on that and then follow the procedure click on record when you're in the option um, let me do that again click on record here and go through the procedure of talking whilst that slide was you know those slides are playing um, and lastly um, you can save the work um, in your area and the audio files and whatever you've highlighted will save to delete those from your PowerPoint presentations for the future you click on record slideshow go to clear and then you can clear all your narrations from all the slides or your current slide or whatever you want it to do so that was a quick and easy video showing you how to add narrations to PowerPoint presentation how to add highlighters and moving on how to save the work and how to delete your narrations from PowerPoint presentations as well. Um, I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.